Alright guys, welcome back to some more Xenoblade Cross. Um, so we're gonna be continuing our little series, I guess, of like tips and tricks, tips and tricks for the game. And um, there was a there was a, one of my viewers. Uh, good questions, and I felt that uh, I should make a video to kind of like highlight the differences or whatever uh, best instead of just like commenting in the uh, comment section explaining. So um, let me just go through the questions real quick. Okay, number one. If you master a class, can you level another class without even using or having any weapons for or arts for, from that new class? Uh, number two, are arts usage tied to classes or weapons? Number three, does the class you choose change your stats or is it just the weapons slash equipment? Number four, uh, how viable is it to even mix weapons from different classes? So, um, these questions where I, I thought they were really good questions. So, um, here we go. Let me ask you questions. Number one, uh, if you master a class, can you level another class without even using or having any weapons or arts from that new class? The answer for that is yes. Okay. Um, as long as you've mastered a previous class. So, for example, uh, say you have this general sword, okay? This general sword. This whole branch up here, this, these two branches, they can only use the assault rifle and the long sword. So unless I've mastered the general sword up until this rank, number level 10, um, this blue part needs to be mastered. Okay, so this blue class needs to be mastered. The general sword needs to be mastered. So you need to get 10, and then you can use it for other classes. Now, as you have, like for example, like I mastered the general sword, and I moved onwards to let's say the uh, the sword fang. Okay, at this point, I can use the assault rifle and the long sword for the sword fang. But the problem here is the fact that it takes a very, very long time to master a class unless you power level your your classes somehow. And uh, I've made a video uh, regarding fast experience uh, and leveling with uh, using the Joker in the, higher, the other continent, but uh, that aside, like, there's not very many places where you can just literally grind um, super fast experience like that area um, and Joker area that's like near end game stuff so either way uh, you'll have taken a good long time with the game to even get that far so um, personally my personal personal advice is to just kind of like dick around with the other classes uh, and kind of like test the waters see you know like if the classes that you were like really going for were actually what you thought they were and uh, see if the other classes are kind of if not better than what you have expected so um, but personally how I played was I went from drifter went down to enforcer uh, I went to the side seeker and I was like Meh, and then went down here uh, for the uh, blast fencer in the galaxy night the reason why I wanted to go with the uh, with the elite planners because they had like this like what do you call it this uh make your enemies your minions kind of thing but i was just kind of like eh, i don't know it was more support role than like a damage role really and uh, i was too big in it so um i i went down here with the beam saber the photon sabers and had a blast <laughs> um and then after that i just kind of like you know power leveled all the other classes um with the joker um but anyway yes so um, as long, again, as long as you've changed to the new class um, and you've mastered the previous classes, uh, all you need to do is just have that class. All you need to do is just be that class. So, um, yeah. You can, I mean, personally, like, you can just ride a doll the entire time and uh, just, you know, like, level it up. You know, that's what I did. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, like don't, don't don't worry too much about like you know the the uh, the classes or whatever. But um, with that said, um, your skills, which goes on to number two, are arts usage tied to classes or weapons? Uh, the answer to that is they're tied to your weapons. Now the reason for this is, I mean, think about it this way. Okay, so you have the sniper rifle. Okay, so in the sniper rifle, let me show you some footage. Okay, so the sniper rifle plays like this. Okay, so it's kind of like, it's kind of goes like that. Okay, um, very very simple play, but um, 
<laughs> before too high. Okay, so you know, like the the graphics or the the effects, I guess you could say, for the skills, they're kind of simple or whatever. But let me switch over to, for example, a Saigon. So Saigons are the other, uh, the other one of the other ranged weapons in this game. So here are the psycho psychological skills. See, with, with with that skill, you will never be able to like achieve that with uh, sniper rifle, no matter how you how you play it, you know. So, um, so you know, it, it's a uh, it's simply a matter of uh, the limitations that the weapons have, you know. Like you know, they like like for the star ray uh, that I just did. Uh, a sniper rifle would never be able to do that. So, uh, in short, uh, yeah, they're only tied to your to your weapons. So, um, <laughs> if you ever if you ever wanna, what do you call it? level up, level up, uh, level up a, like a, a certain class, then you'll have to stick with the uh, with the uh, with the weapon or with the arts associated with the uh, with the weapon. Um, so. Yeah. <laughs> As I'm scrolling through here, you'll see that uh, these are all sniper rifle skills. Sniper rifle, sniper rifle, sniper rifle, sniper rifle. Long sword, long sword, long sword, long sword. So these are the two weapons that I currently have equipped: uh, the long sword and the sniper rifle. Um, so it's very important that. Uh, you keep in mind that as you are playing your your character and trying to trying out different classes, that you. Uh, are careful, kind of. I guess you could say about about your <laughs> your usage of uh, the battle points. So, if you look over here, I'm gonna highlight it for you. Um, you get these battle points. Okay, these battle points you get from killing mobs or whatever, leveling up. And um, as you get these points, you will use them towards skills and arts uh, to level them up and make them stronger. And uh, the problem is. Uh, they're kind of hard to come by. Kind of hard to come by. They're not incredibly hard to come by, but they're hard enough to come by. And uh, what that makes you do is that makes you think about what uh, what kind of like weapons and skills or arts you wanna well skills too uh, that you wanna you know prioritize when you're leveling up your character. Number three, we go on to does the class you choose change your stats or is it just weapons? Um, it actually does more than change your stats. It actually changes the amount of slots that you have. Um, from the early classes, they have fairly low skill slots, except for obviously the Drifter. But you go from like, for example, the Assault, they only have one skill slot, and then you go up to two, and then three for the General Sword. Um, three, and then four for the uh, Shield Battler, etc. So, um, skill slots can be very, very big but huge in like how you build your character. For example, um, if you look at this General Sword's, uh, one of the skills for just available for the General Sword, which is acquired at rank 5 of General Sword, is the, the Battle Body. And this increases your HP, your max HP by 30%. Um, but if you're only using General Sword, then you only have 3 slots. So that means you only have 2 slots left available to you. But um, if you go backwards to the Assault, there's a skill called where's it? Steel Body. Now Steel Body increases your max HP by 10%. So 10 plus 30 is 40%. But if you put those skills, those two skills, into General Sword, then you'll have one slot left. And there's you know you haven't put in anything for damage yet. But if you went down to these other classes, then you have two slots left. Um, so I feel that the reason why that they why they lowered the skill slots for the General Sword so much is by the simple fact that it's a strong class to begin with. Like it has a lot of HP and a lot of attack. So they're trying to like offset that kind of like that, that power balance or that, that power uh, that, that, that the class already has uh, to kind of like balance it out with the other classes. So yeah, so uh, kind of going back to the question does does class actually uh, affect your stats? Yes. So, for example, the General Sword, they're good for uh, damage and high HP. They're kind of like tanky. Uh, same thing for these guys. These are more kind of like defensive 
uh, characters or whatever. Um, and uh, then you have like these guys who are good at shooting, uh, more shooting, and then these are your casters, so they have like higher uh, like magic magic abilities, I guess you could say, uh, for the heals or whatever, um, and support skills, etc. So um, mix and match. Um, I think there are a couple like like charts online uh, of like of like the the class differences or whatever. Um, and uh, I'm sure I'm sure they're I'm sure you'll find them, and I'm sure like the English community will like make them uh, soon enough themselves. So um, yeah, to answer the question, changing uh, classes not only affect your your stats, they also affect your skill slots, and uh, skill slots in a way affect your stats too because you know I mean 30% HP, that's huge. <laughs> so yeah, that's something that's something to think about. Uh, and so we go on to the final question. How viable is it to even mix weapons from different classes? That's I, I think I think that's one of the best questions uh, so far because it's it's actually you know it's actually just a good question. Like, you know, like why would you want to switch classes to begin with? Like what what merit is there in in going from a general or from like a like a galaxy knight to a general sword? Uh, or you know, like using using the weapons from the from the galaxy 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 knight to the general sword, rather. Um, and let's just put it this way, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, kind of like to answer this question fully, like you kind of need, not only need to consider like the weapon usage, but also the skill usage. Um, so I saw once uh, there was like I think it was a Japanese player. What he did was. He took skills from the Psy Seeker. Now the Psy Seeker, the skills for it uh, involve a lot of sleep. Okay, so like the sleep time, it increases the sleep amount by 10, uh, 10 seconds. Um, this bridge breeze uh, shot, uh, if I'm auto attacking, there's a 50% chance that they won't wake up from the sleep. And if I go to Feather Touch, if I use my arts, there's an 80% chance that they won't wake up from the sleep. Okay, so in essence, if you use this, if you use these skills correctly, you can sleep lock an enemy and just pound him uh, because you have things like this: the Morning Star. The Morning Star is if you have your enemy in sleep, you have an extra 50% damage to that enemy. If you go to a sniper, for example. These have very, very hard hitting skills. Now, um, not only are they hard hitting, but they have a high reload time. Well, fairly high reload time uh, compared to the other weapons. And uh, yeah, so let's think about that. You have an enemy in sleep, and you don't want to wake him up as much as possible. So, go for a high hitting. Uh, high recast uh, weapon and you lower that chance of them waking up and you also uh, increase your damage multiple fold because of the morning star morning star skill so um, technically uh, you shouldn't be able to use the sniper rifle with the side seeker but once you've mastered the, the well for example the leap timer and got the skills for the side seeker uh, you can just go to the Star, the Star Crusader and use that, or even even better is uh, what do you call it? Um, just like just unlocking the skills. Like as long as you unlock these skills, they're available to your other classes. Um, now mixing mixing and matching uh, weapons. I mean, you know, there's there's a bunch of different things, but honestly, it, uh, it all goes down to like how you want to play your game, like how you want to play your character. Like this, like a lot of this, like can just be like complete aesthetics. Like I, like um, like one of my viewers, I think he was like really like just like adamant on using uh like a G Buster compared to like other other weapons on the doll because you know he just this is how he wants to play the game. And quite frankly, this game, like the way the way they have it set up, it lets you do exactly that. Like you can you can build your character exactly the way you want to and make it work. Like it's not like um. What do you call it? It's not like you know, there's there's just pure demerits to using 
like this weapon, the, the, the cycle launcher versus like the sniper rifle or whatever. Um, depending on like, how you want to build your character, what kind of skills you want to put in, what kind of arts you want to use, then it can just kind of like build upon itself and make uh, the character work as long as you put thought into your character. Um, so, I mean, like, you know, obviously like, the skills alongside like the, 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 the sniper rifle or whatever um, is not really like kind of answering the question because uh, the question really was like, is it viable to mix weapons from different classes? Well, quite frankly, yes, because the weapons, um, they're all, they're, the arts associated with them are, well, they're according to the weapons. So you can't, you know, you can't, like I said before, you can't use, um, you can't use sniper rifle skills for the psycho launcher or whatever. So, you know, like, things like that. There's, it's just, it just goes down simply to the fact of, like, how you want to play your character. Um, and that's just, that's just it. Um, to kind of, I think, I think I mentioned that, uh, I was, I, I, Fucking like lost track, but there was a there's a YouTuber that or YouTuber like some guy that I saw playing for, and what he was doing was he was on foot, he was solo, and he was fighting one of these fuckers, these huge motherfuckers, alone. Now why would he fight it alone with uh with that with that sleep build that I was telling you about? Well, if you have other people auto attacking slash casting skills, it lowers it it lowers his chances of keeping that mob sleep locked. So he sold it, went overclock. And just melted the box or mob, whatever, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to say it is. Um, and it was just absolute madness. Like it was just like I, I, I was like I was just floored by like the ingenuity behind the uh, build. But obviously, like that build, it worked because it was in a very controlled situation. Like these guys, I mean, look around. Like there aren't that many other like mobs here. Um, except that guy who's kind of patrolling there, but if you're high enough level, they'll just score you anyway. But, um, yeah, so, you know, like, he can't be in a party with other people because they'll wake up the mob, um, and he can't be in, like, fighting other mobs as well, like, like as a group, because it's a single target kind of, like, uh, specialty, you know, skill or whatever, so, um, it works, but in a very, very kind of, like, rare situation, really. Um, and you know that aside, it's not just it's not just your skills and your arts you need to worry about, but also your 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 equipment. Like uh, if you look at my my character's amazing, amazing, super rare, uh, badass katana. Um, I have a skill called uh, it's like third from the top, like front attack. So if I front front attack 15. So if I'm attacking a mob from the like head on. I get a, like a very big damage bonus, and uh, I also have an ultimate killer 15, which is almost pointless because uh, ultimates in this game, <laughs> ultimates in this game are. Uh, let me show you. I don't. I don't even have all of them either. Just like the, the bad thing. Ultimates are two kind of ultimates in this game. There's uh, Teresia, and then there's something else over here that I've <laughs> I've never even fought apparently. But um. Yeah, but you know it, it depends on your like on your luck with the roll. To be honest, like you'll you'll get different skills or whatever, um, depending on how you like where you farm, what you kill. Um, that that particular sword is a very special drop from um, a uh, named mob in the desert des desert continent, and uh, I actually made a video of that of like the fast level of the katana or something like that, or making the Aries in the katana. But yeah, um, so let me uh, go ahead and skip to a couple more areas for you just to answer a couple more questions that uh, I haven't been able to answer just yet. And they have been coming up often. So, one of the big questions that I get with this game is can you change the color of the Aries? So, this is the Aries that I have, okay? Um, and yes, not only can you change the name, you can also change the color, and as you see where it's blinking, that's uh, that's a part that I can change. Pretty much, well, you can change almost everything. I just like like this color scheme, um, but for the sake of science, uh, there you go. You have a white 
white areas now. <laughs> um, and you can change a bunch of other parts to it too. Um, just change this to red. And like the inner part over there, change that to like a like a green. This is in the bottom, like knee, like more of my kneecaps are, I think. Actually, where the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, it's, it's fucking black. That's why. Derp, derp. Okay, so this is like the, my joints, my shoulders, or whatever. Uh, and then your visors. This is like the lights on your head and your uh, your rank, and then more lights. Whatever, but you get the idea. Um, I don't care to change it. <laughs> this, is just, this is just my my personal color scheme. Um, it's ob it's obviously well not obviously, but it's, it, it differs from the from the base one, which is like kind of more like bronzish really than uh, black. But yeah, uh, I feel though uh, because like the parts they're so kind of like just clumped together that like they don't change as much as. Uh, like my Joker here, for example. Like, look at this guy. He's just fucking. He's all over the place. But he's Joker. He's supposed to be wild. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yes, you can change the color of your Aries. And lastly, I wanted to point something out, and that is um, if you look at my Union, uh, I'm with the Avalanche, the little. What do you call it? The little fucking. Uh, unicorn, unicorn bros. Now, avalanche. Uh, what their what their intended kind of like use is, or what the purpose of your union is, is to like ride the dolls and be badass and blah 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 blah. But um, you may you may be like you may be like oh my god because uh, upon upon like joining, uh, what do you call it, New Los Angeles, or like yeah. Coming to the blade, becoming a blade, uh, you'll have to choose a union. And honestly, all I can tell you right now is don't worry about it. Because uh, as a union, uh, sorry, as an avalanche, I can do everything, everything all the other unions can do. So this is a simply, this is simply a matter of aesthetics. Like there's, there's absolutely no point to it. Like you just, there's just nothing. It's just, <laughs> it's just madness. Um, I. I it was like the, the completely mysterious system that they put in and never really like elaborated on. Um, but yeah, so like personally, like I, I stuck with it. I stuck with the uh, Avalanche because, well, I mean like AX, I like, I like riding, uh, I like riding skills and B, I like blue. So, uh, I think this was like the only blue one. <laughs> like the, the blue that I like, uh, so. Yeah, I chose to be an avalanche, but that's about it. There's no change in the missions. There's no change in uh, your interactions with other people. Uh, you you do that all, regardless of uh, of your of your choice of union. And that's that's about it. Um, I I think I've answered the question. Uh, that, that have been kind of thrown at me, so... Um, actually... Yeah! Yeah! Anyway, uh... Yeah, uh... I hope... Anyway, yeah, I hope so. So anyway, I hope that this was uh, some use to you guys. Like I, I, um, you know, like I, I have been getting a lot of questions as the Western release has been coming up. And um, if you want to, just keep them coming. Like I, I know there, there, there are still questions that I haven't quite answered fully, or um, things that you may still be curious about. But um, hopefully, I was able to answer to some extent. Uh, uh, the things that you're already curious about uh, regarding the game. So, as always, if there's anything more that you want to know, just uh, just tell me, and I'll I'll do my best to uh, accommodate that. And so, until next time, guys, it's been good, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.